Okay, this is a project for my granddaughter. She has a Syrian hamster named Felix, seen here. And she wanted a uh, bigger enclosure for him, and this is uh, what I came up with. So here's the working drawings. I'll figure everything out carefully. Took a little time, a couple days to do this. And then uh, the uh, layout for the for the multi medium density fiber board. Those uh, first, second, and third marks there was for Lowe's to cut up the four by eight sheet for me. So they did a great job. So I can get it in the car, and you know that eliminated three cuts I didn't have to make. So. I measure twice, cut once. That's an axiom to live by. And before you say anything in the comments, yes, I know my garage is a mess. <laughs> and that is my ancient craftsman skill saw, which I've used for, uh, Lord, I don't even know how long, 35 years maybe? And that is my equally old craftsman's rolling saw. And they still move. Back in the day uh, when I was working as a uh, carpenter, the other guys made fun of me because they had these fancy worm drive, you know, skill saws. And uh, after a few days and seeing me whip up and use that old... Well, it wasn't that old that time, but, you know, at that time, but that that cheap craftsman skill saw, and it worked just as good as their expensive worm drives, they, and it was, I don't know, quarter of the weight when <laughs> he we started borrowing it. So, safety first, always have glasses, and... Um, Ear protection. Here I'm testing the 12-volt uh, LED lights, very bright. I had previously bought these on Amazon. Uh, I replaced the uh, lights on my range hood, and they worked brilliantly. No pun intended. So here I am setting up. Okay, for assembly I used uh, wood glue and some corner brackets to hold each corner together and then my uh, one and a quarter inch brad nailer to fasten all the sides to the bottom. Worked out really good. Now I'm installing the corner braces, uh, just uh, one by twos, 
they'll hold up the uh, what amounts to the first floor of the uh, enclosure. And I need to drill hole, four holes and then use the scrolling saw to cut out a hole for the uh, switch. progress so far that uh, one by two on the outside there on the left is going to support the decorative panel and here I'm cutting out the a scrap piece that's going to be the most of the wall for the window as you can see here it doesn't quite make it all the way because I didn't have a piece big enough and this is my um, Electrical drawing, I know crude, but it, it kept me from getting lost <laughs> while I was wiring it up. And this is the 12 volt switch. It's two switches I got from Amazon. Pretty neat. They have like a night light feature. And there's the back side of the wiring. Here I am making sure the lights actually work. The one for the window and the uh, to light up the entire enclosure. Then I have to go in and uh, use spackling for all the uh, edges, lines, holes. <laughs> and then started painting up. Used uh, pri white primer, flat white, and uh, just painted the entire, entire thing. I got this LED strip lighting 25 feet from Amazon, of course, as a remote and an app, and it works pretty good. When installing it, I doubled it up where it's going to, you know, be underneath the decorative panel, and I still had some left over, so I ran it around the back side and the right side at the top. Uh, just so I wouldn't waste it. Okay, done a couple of things since I last filmed. One is painting. There we go. Painting surfaces with a high gloss white latex. Um, just what's being going to be seen, like the front here, right rail, and the top part. Which will always be seen. And I went ahead and, uh, oh, of course, the top here. Hey, what's up? No. Shh. I'm talking. Of course, also gave this one coat of the high gloss, just so it would reflect more when that is applied. And last night I built the top, which I'm going to paint now. 
and it's going to have a uh, mesh, metal mesh um, screen. Keep the little fuzzy crater in. So we'll paint that. And also I put a couple little stops in for the top. Plus this little piece here that will support the, um, the lid opener. Okay, so I'm gonna glue the pitcher to the window. And here's the view from the window. Um, I thought about downloading and, you know, and uh, printing out some picture of a uh, skyline, city skyline, since it's supposed to be a penthouse view. And I settled on buying a uh, calendar. There's a nice Manhattan view. And it seemed to work out pretty good. Okay, here I'm painting the top. I didn't prime it, I just painted it with that high gloss. Works really well, two coats. And then measuring the plexiglass very carefully, since it's, it was $39 for that little flimsy sheet of plexiglass. I used, a, I think it was a 26 tooth uh, saw blade for my scrolling saw and being careful as I could it still split out in a couple of places but you know look on YouTube they say to cut on top of a um, quarter inch piece of plywood which of course I didn't have but it worked out pretty good here it is here's the finished window and then I'm cutting out the um, it's a half inch squares uh, for the uh, screening, galvanized screening, and that's gonna be for the top. And I used a bread nailer. I think it was half inch. Um, you know, it's a little. It's a little U-nail and to fasten it, that worked out really easy, pretty quick. All right, plexiglass is in place, uh, just, just attached it at the sides here, a little silicon rubber. As you can see, there we go. The um, oil <laughs> oil can is not part of the habitation, but um, it's holding that cap, paint cap I got down there. Can you see? Focus. There we go. And it covers all the wires for the switch. And I will silicon rubber the top and the bottom here in a little bit. Once it sides dry a little bit, holds on to it real good. I put one step in. I know I was going to have three, but oh well. And the plexiglass for the window is in. Pretty, much, it was pretty snug going in, so I just. Little silicon rubber on the top just to hold it in place. That should dry all the way clear. All right, getting there. Got the top to put on. It's ready to go, but I'm still working inside a bit, so I'll wait on that till tomorrow. So the decorative panel, two by four, and it's a quarter inch thick rubber. Pretty durable. Uh, I cut off one edge 
So I was going to have to put that back on because I couldn't use the entire thing. So I just use the good old scrolling saw to cut that off. And my idea was to bend it. I was using a heat gun and I thought I could get it to bend, but no, that was a failed attempt. Stuff is pretty uh, resilient. And fasten the lid on with just uh, gold colored hinges. And I made a uh, handle for the lid out of a piece of scrap plastic and a drywall screw. Okay, I got this soft close lid support um, from Amazon. Just got it installed. It's pretty nifty. It holds it up, upright all the way, and to close. It's got a soft, soft close feature. It's pretty slow, but it seems to work. I think she'll be happy with that. All right. And since I couldn't bend the uh, decorative panel, I went to plan B, which was cut it. Here I am installing the three pieces, the side, the uh, front, and then the little end piece on the other on the side. Just used uh, one and a quarter inch drywall screws. Okay, finished product. I hope she likes it. The, um, the flashy lights here, they have an app for her phone so she can adjust to everything. Plus it supposedly um, reacts to music, so she should really love that. Uh, not quite enough bedding. I got 55 liters, I think it said, for $25. But we'll get a little bit more and it'll be fine. Because um, they need supposedly 10 inches of bedding before they'll burrow, is what everyone says about hamsters and I don't know if the uh, diminutive rodent comes with its own measuring tape, but somehow they know. So we'll make sure it's 10 inches. It's 10 inches from the bottom of the shelf down. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. I sure enjoyed this project.